It's Thursday. We're answering pet questions for you with Dr. Joe Landers. But uh, first, we want to introduce you to Domino. Fitting Domino, name. Yes, Domino. Well, we were black and white. We're getting a little bit of tan around our face and our eyes there. So <laughs> this 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 puppy is probably. Uh, not not truly a domino, but we are not sure exactly what it is. Uh, my guess is that this dog is going to be uh, some type of either border collie or uh -huh. some healer mix. Uh, has no retrieving drive. We've, okay. We've, and it, it it doesn't retrieve, but it likes to be in charge. Uh, okay. And it's actually a girl. We were we were kidding before. He acts like a little boy sometimes. You know, this little 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 charged up and running around. But it's yeah. a it's a cute little pup. Where um, is he? She's, she's, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Yeah. She's over at Arrow Springs, okay. uh, and, and that number over there is 918-455-7107 mm -hmm. or animalaid.org on the net. Well, she's so, a cutie. Let's she's a uh, talk to Lisa in Tulsa. Hi, Lisa. What's your question? My question is, I've been instructed to put my dogs on a diet, uh -huh. and uh, they're not eating and I have hand fed them, but I know that's not good. Yep. Um, I mean, you can you can kind of hand feed. Let me. I'd, I'll tell people a lot of times uh, we all have a set point in our in our body where we want our weight to be. Uh, once you reach that set point, a lot of times when people get up to three or four hundred pounds, they don't eat a lot more than you or I do because that's where their body is. It doesn't take much to maintain it. My rule of thumb in adult dogs is about a cup. Per 20 pounds per day. Okay, so if you weigh 40 pounds, that would be two cups, because that would be one per one per 20. Uh, beyond that, if they're not eating very well, you might want to talk to your veterinarian and kind of make sure, especially if if you think that it's a, a medical type of problem. But a lot of times, uh, what what we see as and your veterinarian, if he's real honest with you, and a lot of times, you know, doesn't sugarcoat it too much, can really be kind of kind of helpful there. So. Okay, Tim from Tulsa is our next Hi. caller. Hi, Tim. What's your question? We have Tim. Uh oh, oh. we lose Tim. Apparently not. We have uh, Justice in Broken Arrow. Hey, Justice, what's your question? Yeah, I have a four-month-old puppy, mm -hmm. and we're having trouble po uh, potty training him. Yes. And now he's starting to hike on our furniture, and I was wanting to know what I could do. Yep. Uh, at four months, I'll tell people if we are not housebroken at four months, we go into sort of the military boot camp, and that is that that they're going to do two things. One, you need to to make sure this dog is crated and crate trained when you cannot watch this dog, so it just has no opportunity to go into the house and put it out. If it goes to the bathroom, great, as long as you're watching this dog. Uh, another thing that I'll do that will help you quite a bit, actually, and this only takes a week or two, and it sounds bad, but it isn't, is put a leash on the dog and walk the dog around the house with you and so okay. that you're right there so you yeah. can reprimand, put outside, and make sure that doesn't happen. So, All right, and animalaid.org yes. for more information on Domino. You can uh, also log on to uh, our website, kjrh.com, uh, to see more on this segment. Uh, can, Dr. Dr. Landers is here every Thursday answering your pet questions. So uh, if you miss the segment, go to our website. It's on the Lifestyle tab. You can also learn about other pets who need homes and find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital.